Oh my, oh my, oh my guys. I uh, got the grain and the hay out to the paddock. That was a chore. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna let the girl, the baby girl out first. Come on, sweets. Let's see if she'll come out. Come on, honey. Come on. You can do it. Here she is. He's out. Oh, man. You want to see mama, don't you, honey? You want to see mama out with you? I'll let her out. Hey, here's mama. Mama the big chicken. Ah, I think she goes back. Keep her in the barn. Waiting for her mom to come out. Oh, Whitney's getting taller. Okay, yeah, they're all waiting for grandma here. Grandma the matriarch. Oh. And then they'll all go out. Here they go. <laughs> they gone. I hate it when they run. I know I said this before, they just tear up this pathway. Oh, yeah. Sure you can see her. See, yeah, again, as always, a little stinker. She's got full of energy. Something in vinegar. And which really worries the, the older girls because she can kick it really good. So yeah, they're running away from her thinking, get away from me. She got relatively good movement. She did get a second premium as a little filly at the Frisian horse judging. Well, at least my grandma got one mouthful. Still chewing it. No mama's out there. Got the grain. Yeah, you don't want to get kicked by these legs. They're like two by sixes, two by fours. That's a big chunk of uh, wood at the end. It's cool, but it's very dangerous for these mares because they don't want to get clubbed in the head with that two by four legs of that baby. She just doesn't know any better. <sighs> Guys, it's a really nice day. You know, I said it was like 54 degrees. I'll bet you the temperature went up since I come out here. Look at that old devil. Look at her. Just kicking it. So let's take a look at the weather again. And see if the temperature did go up. <laughs> One degree. It's 55 degrees right now. But like I said, um, it feels a lot uh, warmer because of the... Uh, when, when the, when the uh, wind ceases, then it feels, you know... Uh, <laughs> A lot warmer but uh, when the wind starts blowing it cools right down but these girls love the Sun because it just with her black coats yeah see she got her head down mama's got her head or grandma's got her head down now knowing full well that that little putzo horsey can spin around and kick her in the face and the skull look at that just being an irritant Mama just walked away from the grain, which is definitely not her thing. Oh, checking out the water. Yeah, because the only thing she has on her mind, besides getting away from Whitney, is um, the grain. And she's obviously weighing the safety factor against the urge for sweet food. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh man, it's snotty right here. The sun never hits here. It does, but it's a low spot, so it stays wet. I gotta plug this in. I didn't turn the electric on. 
Yeah, see. What a devil. And I'm telling you, Mama and Grandma's calling her a devil too. Say, why don't you knock it off, girl? Settle down. It's kind of my fault because I haven't let her out. I let them out that much, and that baby horsey is uh, just full of it. it. Needs to be. Oh, I did turn it on here. So I am getting electricity through here. That's good. This cord's got to get out of here. I want it out here all summer. <clears throat> Bring it inside. I could use for other things. Oh, see, baby's taking off. The, so the adult horses are going, yes, get out of here. Get out of here for a while. So she's drinking the water out there. That's pretty cool water out there. I mean, it's got a lot of minerals in there. It comes from uh, the surrounding higher elevated land around us. And this is the highest it can go because then it starts spilling over that way. I call it the levee. It spills over the levee. It maintains a certain maximum height of water, depth of water. But the baby's really happy now that she can actually mingle with the, the adults. I mean, she's close to them, right next to them, you know, in the stalls, but she can't play with them. She's going to be one that likes the water. Look at that. She's a very outgoing and outspoken horse compared to her mom. Her mom is crazy loud and loves to bark at me. And... Uh, and when she doesn't get her way, she lets, she lets me know. And she's pretty unpredictable. Her grandma's a little bit that way, but not much. But then the baby is crazy. So, which is cool. Okay, see, now mama and grandma are gonna be a little upset because she's back. Grandma gets red and grain. Watch your head, sweetie. There goes baby again, running off to the investigate and explore she's going to be a good good girl tell you what how do you know Dirk I don't know just guessing I've had real dull horses before and Lucia really she's got a crazy streak in her where uh, Oscar took that crazy streak to the next level and then Whitney took it to the extreme <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse horses than that. When I say worse, they're very unpredictable and they act, they got their own minds. One of such was a stallion called Ritzka, or Rinska, something like the Rinska. Uh, she, poor, poor dear, she got, he got disqualified, but uh, he was Ritza, something like that. Um, he was crazy, in my humble opinion. Now these horses don't have any of his, in them. There was a horse that we had here. That horse's name was uh, Victor. Victor had uh, Renskas or whatever his name was, uh, blood. And um, he was a gorgeous beast. But he calmed down with uh, Paula's blood. Paula was a very, 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 she was a star mare, a calm mare, um, big mare. Uh, and her dad was the preference, one of the first preference, uh, Herka, 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 254, 245, I don't know, something like that. But, uh, but she was calm, produced Victor, who was purchased by Don. Don Rogers, whose now name is Don Defau. She worked in this barn for Quite a while. Um, she's got her master's degree in uh, psychology or something. She did her thesis on uh, on this barn, how to manage the barn. When to get grain, when to get hay, how much to feed, how often to clean the stalls, how often to oh, work the horses, yada, yada, yada. 
yeah and like i always say you buy a horse for me and that's the last i ever see you guys because you guys are in love with them horses happened to many of my uh trainers <laughs> ouch uh, many is relative so let me go ahead and clean the stalls and then i'll uh work on the mgb after i sit down for a while man i'm probably gonna have to have lunch first <laughs> i'm gonna contact zane see if he wants to do lunch what time is it because now would be a perfect time to get a hold of him because he likes to go at about seven minutes after 11. it's 11 21. maybe he can still do lunch let's see Zane, too late for lunch. Let's see what he says. Hey, it's, I'm glad to be home. <coughs> Tonight there's open mic at the Ada Garage Bar. <coughs> A bar. What's a bar, right? It's a gathering of uh, like-minded people. But uh, the like-minded that I'm talking about are musicians. So last Tuesday, which was the fifth, I believe, um, we got together there 